Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another session of Harari Da'wa. Today, insha'Allah, will be the first of a couple of sessions where we will, insha'Allah ta'ala, discuss the different proofs that establish the presence of Allah Azza wa Jal. Why have we chosen this topic to discuss? Simply because believing in Allah Azza wa Jal is the most important pillar in the belief of any Muslim. If we look at the pillars of Al-Islam, uh, they are the five well-known pillars and the first pillar is bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah Azza wa Jal and that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger. Shahadatu an la ilaha illallah. So that is the first pillar of Al-Islam. If we look at the pillars of Al-Iman, there are six well-known pillars and the first pillar is of course Al-Imanu Billah, believing in Allah Azza wa Jal. And third we have Al-Ihsan which means أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكُ That you worship Allah Azza wa Jal as if you can see Him. And if you cannot see Him then know that He can see you. So from these we know that believing in Allah Azza wa Jal is a very important and an essential aspect for any Muslim. And there are four general lines of proof for establishing the presence of Allah Azza wa Jal. The first is Al-Fitrah, the natural disposition and that will be our topic today. The second is Al-Aql or the intellect. The third is Al-Naql which are religious texts like the Quran and the Hadith passed on to us from the Prophet Wasallam, and the fourth is Al-Hiss or physical sense. Regarding Al-Fitrah or the natural disposition then every created being is naturally inclined towards believing in Allah Azza wa Jal without prior education or thought and does not turn away from this natural disposition except if turned away by something else. As the Prophet وسلم, said, مَا مِن مَوْلُودٍ إِلَّا يُولَدُ عَلَى الْفِطْرَةِ فَأَبَوَاهُ يُهَوِّدَانِهِ أَوْ يُنَصِّرَانِهِ أَوْ يُمَجِّسَانِهِ The Prophet وسلم, said, There is no one who is born except that he is born upon this natural disposition. His parents then convert him to a Jew or a Christian, or a fire worshipper. And one of the most simple examples that all the creation are naturally disposed towards believing in the presence of Allah is that in extremely difficult situations, in life and death situations such as when on a boat or on a plane and when people are in difficulty, they all turn to Allah Azza wa Jal in this dire time. When people are flying on a plane and something goes wrong with the plane and the plane starts shaking in the airspace and the pilot can't do anything to fix the plane, then here all the disbelief in Allah Azza wa Jal disappears and everyone turns towards Allah Azza wa Jal supplicating and making dua and sincerely asking with their hearts Allah Azza wa Jal to save them Surely in this type of situation there is no room for disbelief. And Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran gives us an example of this and tells us of a situation that used to happen in Surah Yunus chapter 10 verse number 22. Allah Azza wa Jal says, هُوَ الَّذِي يُسَيِّرُكُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ حَتَّى إِذَا كُنْتُمْ فِي الْفُلْكِ وَجَرَيْنَ بِهِمْ بِرِيحٍ طَيِّبَةٍ وَفَرِحُوا بِهَا وَجَرَيْنَ بِهِمْ بِرِيحٍ طَيِّبَةٍ وَفَرِحُوا بِهَا جَاءَتْهَا رِيحٌ عَاصِفٌ وَجَاءَهُمُ الْمَوْجُ مِنْ كُلِّ مَكَانٍ وَظَنُّوا 
وظنوا أنهم أحيط بهم دعوا الله مخلصين له الدين لئن أنجيتنا من هذه لنكونن من الشاكرين So what happens here when the storm hits and the waves are hitting the boat and people think that they are going to die and that there is no one who is going to save them from the situation except Allah Azza wa Jal they invoke Allah they invoke Allah making their faith pure for him alone saying if you O Allah deliver us from this we shall truly be of the grateful some people may ask if turning naturally towards Allah Azzawajal is a natural disposition, why have people throughout history worshipped different idols and different gods? And the answer to that is the fitrah, the natural disposition, calls a person towards turning to the Creator, Allah Azzawajal. However, the environment that surrounds a person has a large impact in causing the person to turn away from Allah Azza wa Jal. From this environment, like we mentioned in the hadith earlier, is what is taught to a child by his parents, his teachers, various books that have different ideologies that cause a person to deviate and doubt his religion. And a lot of people unfortunately fall in doubting the Creator, Allah Azza wa Jal, because of modern technologies and modern life and the modern life being far away from what the soul needs in nourishment. So a lot of advancements in technology and gadgets and infrastructure and science and modern medicine have led people to forget the spiritual aspect. However as Muslims we know that there is a fine balance between the body and the soul and as Muslims, while we benefit from modern technology and modern life, we don't neglect and we don't forget the spiritual aspect and the nourishment for the soul, which can only come from its creator, and that is Allah Azza wa Jal. With that, we will conclude today, and in our next session, inshallah, we will talk about the intellectual proofs for the presence of Allah Azza wa Jal. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحن خلقناكم فلولا تصدقون أفرأيتم ما تمنون أأنتم تخلقونه أم نحن الخالقون نحن قدرنا بينكم الموت وما نحن بمسبوقين على أن نبدل أمثالكم وننشئكم فيما لا تعلمون ولقد علمتم النشأة الأولى فلولا تذكرون أفرأيتم ما تحرثون أأنتم تزرعونه أم نحن الزارعون لو نشاء لجعلناه حطاما فظلتم تفكهون إنا لمغرمون بل نحن محرومون أفرأيتم الماء الذي تشربون أأنتم أنزلتموه من المزن أم نحن المنزلون لو نشاء جعلناه أجاجا فلولا تشكرون أفرأيتم النار التي تورون أأنتم أنشأتم شجرتها أم نحن المنشئون نحن جعلناها تذكرة ومتاعا للمقوين فسبح باسم ربك العظيم